The question in this race is where are we? The question has always been, what are we ready for? But, you know, we say we're ready for change. But Barack has said time and time again, and I will reinforce this because Barack has said the change he's talking about is hard. This is hard stuff. This isn't just about words and inspiration. Barack has said from the very start that this race cannot be about him, that it has to be about us. It has to be about the change in us, us demanding that we live in a different world, a different nation, and that we're ready to fight, each and every one of us, and to compromise for the vision that we have for our children. So the question is, what are we ready to give up? What are we ready to put on the line? And it starts with voting and engaging. What Barack understands is that we can no longer live life the way we have. Divided, isolated, cynical, and fearful, there is no room for that. We have to be ready, each and every one of us, to set aside those fears and division, to push past our doubts and that thing that gnaws us in the back, the old voices in our head that have told us the way things should be when we know in our hearts that we can be so much better. So Barack will say, you cannot go back to your lives as usual. The way you've lived your life ends right now. And it doesn't stop just because you put him in office. That the real work happens after he's sitting in the Oval Office. The way Barack has run this race is not an accident. He needs you. He needs regular folks. Engaged not just with their dollars, but with their energy. And the, and the belief is that if you get organized now and start getting used to canvassing and getting on the phone and talking to your neighbors and reaching beyond your comfort zones and being used to being engaged in the political process, if you can do that now, you're going to have to do it when it's time to fight for health care. You're going to have to do that when it's time to fight for better funding in our schools. And you're going to have to keep doing it if you really want this war to end. Because what Barack knows is that there are so many barriers and hurdles out there waiting to stop change. So he can't do it without you. He needs you. And you can't get scared. You can't doubt your way out of it. You have to be with him every step of the way, with your prayers, with your energy, with your faith, with your commitment. And if you are not registered to vote in this state by Friday, then all of this means nothing. Even those of you who are here and are excited and are passionate, you know at least 20 other people in your lives who are not here, who are not focused, who are not engaged, who will not vote, not on in May, not in November, and they have to be involved. So your work begins with your circle of people in your life who have to be here at some level. And it doesn't take much. What Barack has said is that it doesn't take millions. You don't have to be wealthy to be a part of democracy. You don't have to be a certain race or religion or party or gender to have a piece of the power that you can do it just by getting up, getting on the phone, knocking on a door, it is not that hard if we are all working together.